John Weingarten from West Palm Beach is concerned about be having a, balance, a budget that is not balanced. What, uh, what are your opinions on the balancing of the budget? Well, I think you have to. I mean, when you look at many of our states, I believe 47 49 of our states have balanced budget amendments. The federal government needs to have that. You know, the federal government, we continue to do what you see happening in the Fed, where we are monetizing our debt, where we are keeping interest rates at a, you know, artificially low level, where we are printing more money. We're just exacerbating the situation even more so. You go back and you study what happened in Japan in the 1990s when they went into a recession. They tried nine stimulus packages. It kept them in that recessive state. We cannot continue down that path. I think we have to have a balanced budget amendment. I think that we have to get away from this baseline budget, which means that each year we raise it up, but then we say we're going to cut it, but it still is basically a raise. We've got to get back to a zero-based budget system. So those are the type of structural reform things that have to happen. Remember what I said in that slide? It takes five miles to turn an aircraft in. And a lot of these things that we are contending with have happened over a 30-year period. The meltdown, financial meltdown in 2008, traced it all the way back to the Community Reinvestment Act. Okay? And think about all the things that happened along the way. Think about how all of a sudden we created Fannie and Freddie. How all of a sudden we repealed the Glass-Steagall Act, so there was no separation between investment banking and commercial banking. We need it back. All of a sudden we started to sell the mortgage-backed securities from bank to bank and over to foreign banks. I mean, it just continued to go on and on, subprime and all these things. And then, bam, 30 years later, you have a meltdown. So if we can get to the point where we don't have financial election cycle sound bites, and we really start to forecast and look at 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 years, and understand the policies and the ramifications thereof, then we will get things on the right footing in the United States.